Next is hepatoblastoma. This is the most common primary malignancy of liver in children. You know, blastomas are more common in children like neuroblastoma, retinoblastoma, nephroblastoma, hepatoblastoma. Clear? So, all these are more common in children. Blastomas more common in children. So, this is most common primary malignancy of liver in children. One of the risk factor is low birth weight. So, here low birth weight, it is going to increase the risk. Apart from low birth weight, it is associated with certain conditions. So, it is associated with what? FAP. Tell me the full form. Familial adenomatous polyposis. And the second is BWS. BWS, that is beckwith Weidman syndrome. So, it is associated with familial adenomatous polyposis. BWS, that is beckwith Weidman syndrome. We discussed fibrolamellar variant. Fibrolamellar variant was not associated with hepatitis B virus, hepatitis C virus, cirrhosis. This is also not associated with hepatitis B virus, hepatitis C virus, infection, cirrhosis, as well as metabolic disorders. So, not associated with hepatitis B virus, hepatitis C virus, infection, cirrhosis and metabolic disorders. It means what happens? Here, majority of patients are having good condition of liver and in hepatoblastoma also tumor is resectable. So, that's why there is good prognosis. Tumor is resectable, condition of liver is good here also. Patient is child means patient is young. So, what happens here also? The prognosis is good. If you see alpha fetoprotein, in 70% of patients of HCC, alpha fetoprotein was raised. And in hepatoblastoma, alpha fetoprotein, it is raised in 90% patients. So, here alpha fetoprotein, it is raised in what percentage? It is raised in 90% of patients. Alpha fetoprotein, it is raised in 90% of patients. Now, see the clinical features. The patients of hepatoblastoma, most of the patients who are brought to us, they are less than 18 months of age and almost all patients are less than 3 years of age. So, what is the age at presentation? Most patients at the time of presentation, what is the age? Most patients are less than 18 months of age. Most patients at the time of presentation, less than 18 months and almost all patients, all patients are less than 3 years of age, less than 3 years of age. What is the problem? Inside the liver, there is tumor. Clear? If inside the liver, there is a tumor, what happens? With time, there is increase in the size of tumor and because of that, what happens? The liver is going to enlarge. Since the patient is child, there are no symptoms. So, what happens? Mother is going to notice whenever mother is giving birth to the baby, mother is changing clothes of the baby, she notices that patient is having mass or lump. So, most common presentation, there is asymptomatic palpable intra-abdominal mass or lump. And what is this mass? This is hepatomegaly. So, what is the most common presentation? In hepatoblastoma, what is the most common presentation? The most common presentation in hepatoblastoma, it is asymptomatic palpable intra-abdominal mass. So, it is asymptomatic. This is asymptomatic palpable intra-abdominal mass. Palpable intra-abdominal mass. And what is this mass actually? This is what? Hepatomegaly. Enlarged liver. So, this mass is what? This mass is hepatomegaly. Clear? Other presentations, if you go for laboratory investigation, the patient platelet count is very high. Despite of very high platelet count, patient is not having any symptom. So, on laboratory parameter, you might find thrombocytosis. What? There is thrombocytosis. Clear? And we already discussed, there are similarities with HCC. In both HCC and hepatocellular carcinoma, what is the most common route of spread? Hematogenous and the most common site of metastasis lungs. Clear? Now, we discussed that in diagnosis, in hepatobiliary pancreatic malignancies of adults, what adults, FNSC and biopsy is not mandatory for diagnosis. But here, this is condition of childhood. Here, for confirmation, we need biopsy. So, in diagnosis, two questions are asked in relation to hepatoblastoma. First, what is the radiological investigation of choice? CCT. So, here, what is the radiological investigation of choice? The radiological investigation of choice, it is CCT. Got it? And diagnosis is confirmed by or overall, what is the investigation of choice? It is biopsy. So, to confirm, we go for biopsy. So, investigation of choice for diagnosis, it is biopsy. 
So for confirmation, we go for biopsy. Coming to the management, imagine the tumor is resectable. So tumor is confined to the liver, it is resectable. So what we go for? We go for resection. So in majority of cases, the tumor is resectable. So what? Resection is done. And we discussed that this is not associated with hepatitis B virus, hepatitis C virus infection, cirrhosis, metabolic disorders. Condition of liver is good. So that's why prognosis is very good. In hepatoblastoma, the prognosis is very good. Second, some patients at the time of presentation, they have metastasis. And what is the most common site of metastasis? Lungs. So imagine a patient is coming to you with hepatoblastoma and pulmonary metastasis. So if patient is having tumor with pulmonary metastasis, patients who are having pulmonary metastasis, Got it? So in patients of pulmonary metastasis, what you have to do, downstage the tumor and how you are going to downstage the tumor, you have to give neoadjuvant chemotherapy. So in such patients, to downstage the tumor, we give neoadjuvant chemotherapy. And what is the chemotherapy regimen? It is VCF, vincristin, cisplatin, 5-fluorouracil. So the chemotherapy agents we give, that is VCF. It is VCF, vincristin, cisplatin, 5 fluorouracil, and you can't believe if patient is having metastasis and you are giving neoadjuvant chemotherapy in more than 50% patients, metastasis disappears. So after neoadjuvant chemotherapy, what happens in more than 50% patients? What happens? This pulmonary metastasis, this pulmonary metastasis disappears. So since pulmonary metastasis disappears after that, the tumor is left in the liver and we can go for resection. So whenever patient is having pulmonary metastasis, what's the management protocol? In such cases, we go for neoadjuvant chemotherapy followed by surgery. So in such cases, what we go for? We go for neoadjuvant chemotherapy followed by surgery. So this is how we manage the patients of hepatoblastoma and this is all about liver.